Has anyone ever told you 1994 called and they want their cabinets back? Fudge you, Steve. But does that mean that these need to go the way of your Spice World CD? <sighs> Of course not. Did you know that cabinets are the most expensive item in a kitchen remodel? So let's paint them and put your savings towards a new deck, bathroom, or hey, maybe a she shed. Now the internet says all you have to do is prep, prime, and paint, but that is boring. So we are going to prep, prime, paint, and what's another thing that starts with a P? Hoka. So here's a before photo so you can see what we started with. We already completed one side so you can grasp where we're headed. Big transformation, huh? Now I recommend spreading the project out over four days, but we're gonna condense it into a one hour video shoot. Do as I say, not as I do. So day one is all about prep. You're gonna take your drill. Ah, shoot, battery's dead. So you're gonna take your screwdriver and remove all your hardware. Righty tighty lefty loosey. If you don't follow that, you're a silly goosey. And if you want a small, inexpensive change with a big impact, update that hardware. Then you're gonna send these off to Goodwill because one woman's junk is another hipster's treasure. You're gonna wanna number any doors, drawers, or hardware that have to go back to a specific location. In our case, it's just the door. I'm gonna put the tape where the hinge is. I'm gonna give it a one. Then I'm gonna do a separate tape with a one and put it right here. Now it's time to clean these bad boys because nothing says brand new cabinets like fingerprints and spaghetti stains. I'm wearing glasses and gloves because I'm using a cleaner with trisodium phosphate. I gotta put some back into it. So you can dry them down with a rag, but make sure that they don't leave hairs because hairy cabinets are so 1972. we will be doing the same thing with the cabinet frame and you just have to do the outside. You don't have to paint the inside. By the way, most of you are gonna wanna drop cloth underneath, but we just have really ugly carpet that we're tearing up. So we don't care if we get paint on it. Now, if you thought exfoliating was just for your face, you were wrong. It's time to take a sand sponge and exfoliate the cabinets. You're just trying to remove the shine and the roughness. So the paint sticks to the cabinets. This works awesome at getting out the wrinkles. Now remove any excess dust. These are painter tripods. You want to set them on your surface so they elevate the cabinet door so it doesn't smudge when you're painting them. You're gonna start with the back of the cabinet facing up so that way when you're done, you flip it. If the tripod leaves a mark, nobody cares. It'll be classy in the front, party in the back, AKA the mullet technique. All right, time to take that bonding primer. Now, most people would use a pan and liner, but I recommend an ice cream bucket because it gives you an excuse to eat an entire bucket of ice cream. You're gonna use an angled brush for the detailed areas. So think corners and creases. For the big area, you can use a roller brush. Since I have that ice cream bucket, I'm gonna use a grid. The primer doesn't have to be perfect. It's just here so the paint sticks better to the wood. So now that this side is dry, you're gonna flip it over. We definitely didn't just wait 30 seconds to do this on camera. Thank God for the mullet technique. And now you're gonna do the same thing over here. So after you're done priming, this is where I suggest you stop between days one and two. Welcome to day two. You're wearing the same thing. Why are you wrapping me out like that? And now it's time to paint. So you're gonna want an acrylic latex based paint with a semi-gloss or satin finish. And here's the fun part. You get to choose your own color. And if you're like 99% of the world, it will be white. But I'm feeling a little feisty, so I went with beige. Ooh. Now if you want, you can do a little sanding between the coats. So you're gonna apply the paint just like you applied the primer. All right, once you're done with coat number one, you're gonna snap your fingers to day number three and you're gonna apply a second coat. I know, still the same clothes. But I changed my underwear. And once you're done with that second coat, you snap to day four. And this is the fun part. You get to put on the hardware, doors, and drawers, and smile because this may be the best thing that happened to you in 2020. Now you might think you're done, but you would be wrong because it's time to polka. I take it back. Polka twerk's the best thing that happened in 2020. Oh,